guys, welcome to my channel, my YouTube channel. Can I call myself a YouTuber now? Um, I mean, I have been consistent with my uploads, so I guess I'm a YouTuber now. <laughs> guys so I'm gonna get ready today for a date and I want to do one of these videos because I don't know about you guys but whenever I'm surfing this YouTube I really like seeing get ready with me's and I haven't done an updated makeup tutorial for a really long time actually I don't even think people watch YouTube makeup tutorials anymore anyway I am gonna do my makeup and my hair because I left the gym I showered and I cannot go on a date like this by the way, it's Diogo's birthday date, so today we're going to a really fancy special restaurant which we normally never do. So okay, I'm just doing my little skin prep. I'm gonna start. Oh. Anyway, I already I barely started this video and I'm already f***ing it up. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna use this Max Drug Cream. I have this cream for like a lot of years now. <laughs> I don't even think this is still good to use on the face, but I really love prepping my skin with this Mac cream because it gives me a glow and it does hydrate. So I put it on a neck as well, and I put it on my hands. This YouTube introduction was really abrupt. I forgot to say, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms, so Instagram, TikTok, it's listed down below in the description box. If you liking this video until now, maybe turn on that notification bell to get the notification whenever I upload, I promise. I'm actually taking these uploads seriously and also when you guys share my videos on your Instagram stories for some reason that always helps me grow and we want to grow right we, we want to grow together so keep on doing that and don't be shy comment down below comment down below something I don't even know I mean comment down below what you are eating right now for my foundation I've been loving this foundation I bought it on look fantastic and I am working um, on getting a code so I could hook you guys up but this is the Chantecaille foundation this comes in a little it looks like a cream and it does feel like a cream a gel cream to the face this is what the makeup artist for euphoria used on set so i've been loving how natural it makes my skin look so as you can see this is very natural it doesn't even feel heavy on the skin which i do appreciate i forgot my concealer oh wait i need to get get my concealer just a second concealers I think I'm gonna put a little bit more foundation because I have this thing with my skin and it doesn't happen when I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter to prime my face but I ran out of it so I've been using whatever I have on my drawer for, for decades now to prime my face. <laughs> I don't recommend that unless you want to like get a pimple or something on your face. And so I'm gonna put like a second layer just because I feel like I have some patches on my face. Okay, so have you noticed that I'm not using foundation? Actually, I'm trying to avoid this eye area, like under eye area, as much as I can because now we're gonna put concealer. So I love these two concealers. These are actually, I use them a lot when I go out for special occasions and on my clients whenever I have little makeup gigs, which I don't really do anymore. I use this a lot because I like using cream products for like a glow. This is MAC. Studio Finish Concealer Duo. This is NYC30, NYC30, NC35, and this is Y10, NC20. So, I use one, I use these ones, the darker ones, two, to help this discoloration under my eyes. So, it has a warm undertone, so it does the job at hiding. I put it a little bit around the nose here, because it, it's always a little darker. You can compare this side to this side, it looks so different gonna put a little bit more on this side okay so now i corrected my under eyes now i'm gonna brighten it because i feel like this looks good but it's a little too you know i like a little bit of brightness under my eye because i feel like it looks a little bit more snatched especially if it's like a, a night out special makeup so i like putting these lighter shades just here here just like in these parts see like here and I take it down a little bit on my nose because I don't really contour my nose but I like to have brightness around it 
Okay, so this doesn't look blended at all, but I'm gonna take my wet beauty sponge and I'm gonna use it all over my face. All over it. We're doing this makeup look. Actually, I'm gonna put a photo here. We're doing this makeup look, this doll eye matte makeup look. I think this is a Turkish actress or a Turkish singer. I just feel like she keeps popping up on my Pinterest and I thought, okay, I'm gonna recreate this look because I think it looks really pretty and it does go with the whole vibe that I'm gonna go for. So you're gonna see my outfit and then you're gonna understand. Okay, so I'm done with concealers now. I wouldn't say it's like the most important part of my makeup, but it's definitely that part that I'm so f passionate about and that is blush. Bestie, when I tell you I use five blushes for my face, you're gonna see. So first, we're gonna start with um, contouring. So I prefer to contour like this. I take the stick contour. I like to layer products, so creams and then powders because I feel like it looks better. But I don't draw anything on my face because I feel like it looks too harsh. And I like to just dab my brush like this and stipple it. See, like dab it on my face. And also don't forget your hairline, also your ears, because your ears never match your face, so I like to make them a lot darker. I'm also gonna do it around the cheekbones, and I'm gonna do it up, not down, up. The sides, I like to do it here. Today I'm feeling a little extra, so we're gonna do contour on the chin area. I never do this, but... Does this actually make a difference? I don't know. I'm gonna do it a little bit around the nose. As I said, I don't know how to contour my nose. So I don't really do much to it. I just put a little bit of bronzer. Now, what I really like doing is contour on my lips just like this. This works. Okay, so powders. I'm really specific with the powders that I use. So. I've been really loving this product. It's called the Nano Blur. This is what the makeup artist from the set of Euphoria used on their skin to blur out their skin, and this does work. I don't know what this is, but this is good. Oh wait, first, first blush. I wouldn't say it's like the most important part of my makeup, but it's definitely that part that I'm so f passionate about, and that is blush. So, from the makeup look that I'm seeing, she has a very pinkish, very like prominent cheek and it's very pink so i'm gonna use this rare beauty blush this one is in the color joy anyway i'm gonna list all of the products down below in the description box and blush i like to do my blush here by the way these blushes are so they're so pigmented i don't even know why i'm using it directly on my face but <laughs> hope for the best a little bit on my nose just a tiny bit um, yeah, I'm so regretting this. I shouldn't have put this directly on my skin. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is so bad. Okay, okay. We're blending. We're blending. By the way, this blush dries so fast, so I better be quick with working it on my skin. By the way, I'm gonna put it all the way here. I'm gonna bring my blush all the way up. And now I'm gonna blend it with the Beauty Blender. See, this is why beauty blenders are still a thing for me because whenever I do something like this, the beauty blender is there to like help dissolve this product on my face. Whatever is left of this blush, I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin and on my forehead. We got a good base going on. Now we're gonna put the Nano Blur Powder. This is not a powder, this is a primer, a blurring silicone primer, I guess. I'm gonna dab my beauty blender. And I'm gonna put it all over my face. Anyway, as you can see, this already also mattified my face, but I still need powder. And I really love this Givenchy powder mixed with this Inglot blurring powder. So I put it a little bit here. And I put a little bit of this. This one is in the color 17. This is a light one. And this Shivanshi powder, I think it's the number two. Anyway, I mix this two together. Beauty blender. I'm gonna bake. Today we're baking. So, I'm gonna go underneath 
the eye area. I told you we're gonna go all out today. Like, bestie, I told you today we gon we gonna bring the glam. So I brush it off my skin, and there we go. This is my baking. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna do no Patrick Star baking for like 10 hours okay so eyes let's go for the eyes i know this looks a little crazy but like wait wait because we're getting there she has pretty simple like matte eyes and that's what i'm gonna do i think it's like a gray eyeshadow and a white eyeshadow it's mostly like about lashes and eyeliner so we're gonna go for that i'm gonna use this tartlet palette in bloom I really love this palette. I really love the matte colors and I'm gonna use this one, this color. So I'm just gonna apply this on the lid. Actually not the lid, this. What is this called? I don't know. But this is like a grayish cool tone. So this is gonna work. I'm not gonna spend so much time doing my eyes. I have zero patience for that, seriously. I'm not even joking. Okay, so she has a pretty round shape on her eyes. She doesn't really like pull. A lot so we're gonna keep it that way and I'm gonna carve out my eye a little bit more I'm gonna use like a darker shade so I'm gonna use this a little bit of this dark brown this one is activist just like the tiniest tiniest bit and I'm gonna carve it out a little bit more just darken just darken it a little bit more guys remember when my name I don't know if you are from that time but comment down below if you are from the time where my Instagram handle was makeup -less. <laughs> I can't even talk about it because that is so embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Anyway, I'm going to put a little bit of this white eyeshadow on my lid and on this um, brow part. So I clean out this eyeshadow. See, this already cleans it out a lot. We're really going to go for that like stark white brow bone because that's the look it's like 60s mod and then on the lid i'm gonna put some white i'm also using this white all over so i can blend this gray a little bit better because this is looking a little a little patchy i'm not gonna lie bestie it's like a little rough i'm kind of embarrassed like i wouldn't do this on my client i'm not even joking but because it's for me, it's fine. Okay, so I lost a little bit of that cool tone gray. So I'm gonna go back with like this shadow. This one is the Smarty Pants and a little bit of this one called Leader. Just like a tiny bit. And I'm gonna darken that eye socket again. See, it brought dimension back. Definitely did. Just a little bit. It already gave dimension to my eye again. Okay, I'm done with the eyeshadow. Now... I'm gonna put white, white eyeliner on my lid, on my eye, eye, what is this? That place, um, this one is by Fenty, this pencil. This doesn't even have pigment, are you kidding me? Fenty, what's up? I put it on and it disappears. Anyway, try to get it as much pigment as we can. Okay. I think this is about it. I don't think I can get more. Anyway, eyeliner. I'm gonna use this eyeliner pen. This one is by Essence. I really love their eyeliner, especially like the liquid one with the little thing. I really love that one. But today for my lid, I'm gonna use this one. I'm hoping this is a good eyeliner day because we don't got much time left. Okay, we're getting there. She has a pretty thick eyeliner and I like that. I like that look. We're really going for like that doll eye today. Okay, we're doing the same on the other eye. Hey, I'm so done with this eyeliner situation. Let's move on. So I, she also has eyeliner under the eye. So I have this one, this one, and I'm gonna do the same. But she has a, like a clear visible line here okay this is not too bad we're still gonna fix this with um eyeshadow i don't know if i like this 
I have no idea if I like this. Okay, interesting, interesting. So I'm gonna smoke this with a brush and a little bit of black eyeshadow. Just like the tiniest bit. Why am I so aggressive with this? Okay, like the tiniest, tiniest bit. This is definitely very different from normally what I do. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go back with a little bit more powder under the eye and fix up whatever I did here because it does it do be needing some fixing, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this here. And you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna do my um, mascara and I'm gonna put it on lashes. I'm gonna do that off camera be because I have the straightest lashes. I need to heat this up with an, um, those blow dryers first and then curl it. And then I use this Black Up My Love mascara. This has been my ride or die for ages. So I'm gonna go do that off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have my mascara and I put black on my waterline because I was hating the way that Fenty liner was looking on my eyes because it was clumping and it looked so weird. So now we're gonna do brows. And for brows, I don't do my brows for a really long time so they have a really weird shape at the moment. But first of all, let's, up, let's put some, some fixer spray. I'm gonna put fixer spray on my beauty sponge and then I'm gonna dab it on my face because I feel like it does look better when it's done like that. And my makeup does last longer when it's also done like that. I just feel like I look a little oily when I put it directly on my face. When I spray it directly, I feel like it leaves me sticky and oily. So as I was saying, brows, I just use a little um, glycerin bar soap and this is already um, in its critical condition. I put a little bit of setting spray or water, depends on what you have or you know what's closer to you. Rub it a little bit on the spoolie. And then I brush it up. But my brow shape is so weird right now. So I don't even know. I'm just gonna put them like this. Okay, so basically we're done. We just need to put lips. I'm gonna do the little beauty mark that she did. Her beauty mark was really pretty. It was here. So I guess I'm gonna do that little beauty mark as well. I'm gonna go for a different look today. It's gonna look cute. I already have a beauty mark here. So, and I have one here. And I have one here as well. So I'm just gonna do little dots with eyeliner. I'm already gonna tone this down because I feel like it's a little too much. I'm already gonna tone this down just a bit. with my brush. Okay, cute. Lips, so we gonna layer three products. We gonna start with the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown Lip Liner. She has like a cool toned brown around the lips. And I'm gonna go over like this here. Here, I'm gonna go over. Now I'm gonna use this also from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Hollywood Honey. Just a little bit. Just on top. This is just gonna go on top here. See, the trick for my lips is like layering. And then I'm gonna use this Dior lipstick. This is the number 525. Cherie 525. This is a little metallic. And it's like a dusty rose and I really, really like this color. I feel like this lipstick really matches like this retro vibe that I'm going for today. Because it's like a rosy metallic. That was very in back in the days. I love it. I look cute. Now I'm going to put lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on and that made such a difference. So let's do the hair now. My hair is so oily today. Like, so I think I'm just going to do some waves and I'm going to pin it at the back like this. I'm trying not to make noise because my dad is like resting because today is like one of the last fasts and I'm like dropping shit. Look at them 
volume. Okay, so now I'm gonna. I look so crazy right now. This ankle. I have this. Obviously, it's not a bow. It's cute, I guess. And I'm gonna use this to put my hair back. So, like. So I think I'm gonna use bobby pins because it's easier. It's easier to pin it down with bobby pins. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Ladies and genitals, let's get dressed. Okay, so I'm gonna wear this dress, this black dress. I got this dress at Bershka. And look at the shoes. Ladies and genitals, look at this Versace dupe shoes. Guys, I'm kind of iffy about putting this dress on a YouTube video because my mom. If she watches this video, she gonna kill me because she brown. She proud, she brown. And sometimes evil, even like a turtleneck is too sexy for her. So I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna take it off. Ladies and genitals, this is one short dress but i look hot but i'm definitely not gonna leave the house look like this because my mom she gonna kill me and genitals i look hot and i want to put these gloves i know this is extra wood i'm gonna go all out today and gloves are really in so i'm gonna put these sexy gloves look at this she gonna go all out today and for earrings, I'm gonna put pants on because I don't want my mom to walk in and I look like this. This is gonna be embarrassing. Guys, so I'm gonna wear... I'm gonna wear these little earrings because Diogo actually gave them to me last year um, for New Year's Eve because, you know, he wanted to celebrate that this year we're gonna get married, so that's why he was like, Hey, here are some heart shaped earrings for you because we're getting married. So I'm gonna wear these today because they're so cute. They are adorable. Look at that. I can't believe, guys, a grown ass man. A grown ass man gets me little heart shaped earrings. Like, <laughs> that is so adorable. That is so lovable. It's so endearing. To have that okay they're so cute we're done we're done guys i have to be like extra quiet this is why i'm like eager to kind of move out because i have to be extra quiet because my parents can hear everything anyway i have no battery left anyway enjoy the next section of the video because that's the full look